Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Academy Sports and Outdoors Traditions. Today we're in St. Petersburg, Florida to do some Goliath grouper fishing. Just a few minutes, we're gonna jump on that boat right there, head about 30 miles offshore where there's some submerged boats, some wreckage, and of course the grouper love to congregate around that wreckage. I've done all manner of fishing with Academy Sports and Outdoors all over the Gulf, but I've never done it here, and I cannot wait. I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. Matt Rogers. Marty Smith, nice to meet you, Matt. Nice uh, to meet you, Marty. Tell you one thing, you, you can't hide money. Uh, that is a gorgeous boat, first of all. We're gonna hop on in just a minute. What are we gonna go do? Well, we're gonna go out to some wrecks in about 100 foot, and this time of year, the Goliath grouper congregate on them, and uh, they're kind of a trouble when you're looking to snapper fish or, or catch some fish to eat, but they're really fun to tug on, and we'll see what you got. How big is a Goliath? What am um, I, should I, should I expect, expect here? expect something from 100 to 300 pounds, I say, would oh, be okay. a good fish. I'm a solid 165. This ought to be interesting. All right, I'm excited, man. The day is postcard perfect in every way. Great weather, great fellowship, great country music, and although I've never wrestled a grouper before, great expectations. But before we can chase a sea monster, we have to find him something to eat. Naturally, as happens on the open water, we got a little distracted. All right, Marty, so we came up to this marker to get our bait, to catch our bait for the Goliaths, and we spotted two triple tail hanging on the pole. What's they, triple tail? So triple tail, He's a prehistoric looking creature. They actually look like they got three tails, which oh. hence the name. Hence the tail. name, yep. And uh, they're primarily crustacean eaters, crab, shrimp, uh, really good eating fish. So before we make a mess throwing a net here to catch our pilchers, we're gonna try and catch some dinner. Okay, all yeah. in, yes. All right, let's do it. If you guys were sharing this passion with somebody who didn't know anything about it, what should they know about why it's so fun and so rewarding? Good? Uh, I mean, I don't I just think you gotta experience it, but um, you never know what you're gonna see on the water. Every day is, is something different. So, you know, you come across different scenarios that you've never seen before. Oh, you got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. All right, got him. Better. All right, we did it, baby. All right, we got one. Triple tail, you can definitely see why they get their name. Why they get their name. All right, well, enough of the warm up. Let's go to the main event. Dinner is now all but plated. But before we could start the main event, we needed to catch smaller fish to use as bait for the hogs we wanted. These guys look like Spider-Man casting that massive net. One of the best aspects of fishing is the community. Fathers and sons living a shared passion. You're good at that. Growing up, my dad wasn't a, an outdoorsman in like any way, shape, or form. So when these guys came along, it was really cool to see them, you know, gravitate towards it. You know, it was something that we could do together. I'm obviously thankful that he showed me at a young age, you know, how to fish and showed me that passion. So, you know, I kind of will have that with me for forever. Uh, one more net full day and we're out of here. I love the thought of you being a little boy out in the backyard learning how to throw that net. Yeah. I mean, that's so cool. That is passion right there. All right, Marty, we're pulling up to our first spot. 30 miles offshore. 100 foot of water. You can see we're coming onto the wreck. Yep. So we're working 60 to 80 feet down. Yep, the wreck sitting in 100 foot catch some bait, and then we're gonna send them down for the big boys. I love it. Catch some bait? Wait, what, more? So wait, I just learned that all the bait we just caught was to catch more bait? I'm gonna be worn out before I even start fishing. Oops, sorry, sorry. All right, that's what we're looking for. Well, that was easy. Bait number one, let's get a couple more. That's that Almaco Jack. All right. What, what, what makes that the prime bait? Well, Goliaths, they're not very picky. They <laughs> but uh, the jacks, they, they put off like a lot of, a lot of action there. Scrappy little guys, but we got on them and we stayed on them. Now we're ready for the big dog. All right, so now for the main event. So we're using a 50 wide 
uh, Talica here. The hoss, man. It's a pretty good size reel. It's spooled with 100 pound braid. Uh, to that, we have a 200 pound wind on. And on the business end, we have a 400 pound leader with a 16 knot circle hook. Wow. Yeah, and that's it's a big boy. Yeah, nothing pretty about it, but it's just enough lead to get that bait down where we need it to go. And I'm going to catch a 250 pound. That's the plan. Galactic grouper. All right. All right, man. Let's do it. It's finally go time. As we send down the bait, I thought I'd have a minute to prepare for a Goliath grouper on the end of my line. I was wrong. I, don't, I mean, there's something on there. It's a warm up. Yeah, it's a little baby. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's a little baby. It's a little Goliath. 40-pounder. A little. A little? Yeah, he's a baby. That's hilarious. That's a baby, baby. I like over by the stand on the back there. Baby? If I get one any bigger, I won't be able to lift it. They claim this guy's small. I can't imagine what big's gonna look like. But I've been working on my biceps. Well, I guess I better get ready for something 10 times bigger than this. When you hook a real one, you're gonna know it. Yeah, there'll be ones that, that'll... You're gonna think the rod's gonna break. That's what I'm afraid of. Go, 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 go. There you go. Come on. Todd, we're almost like in surgery. Keep going. Yep, wait till I break the He wasn't wrong. This is a workout, but it's not in my DNA to give up. Turn and burn, son. All right, go. All right, you son of a gun. I'm not letting you win. It's gonna be a decent one. He's big. He's big. Right, hold on. Ah, he's two something. All right, we're getting the right side. How's that one, Mark? That is a bigger boy. Oh my gosh. How's that for bass? That's a whole gualler. Send that to your boy, Eric. Was that 100? Probably How much? Over 100. That's over 100, okay. 150, probably. 150. Woo! Now imagine a 600 pounder. Oh, I, I, I mean, how do you? Like a 300 pounder is like legit to catch, but they, they get, you know, six, 700 pounds. Hey, it must take forever to get a 600 pounder in. As if this isn't difficult enough, somebody got the bright idea to remove the rods and reels from the equation. Same type deal, but we're gonna go with the hand line now. So now it's really All right, mono, I've never done this before. I've never done this before. What's the technique? It's Wait just, on the bite and just start ripping? That's it, man. Just rip it and rip it. Okay. Legs and let's get okay. it done. All right. I mean, simple enough. Let's see how simple it is to actually execute. Cool. Thank you. I don't ever get bored of coming back out here again and again and again. You know, pull up that first big grouper and you're so excited. That's the same excitement I feel for you. We kind of got the best of both worlds. <laughs> I don't know who's got. Don't let go of that rope. <laughs> okay. I got it. Uh, I got it. Uh, come here. You want to get the. Hey, hold up, hold up. All right, we'll hit and switch. There you go to the front. Want to look awkward? Hand line a dump truck. It took two of us to manage this hoss. I fancy myself as being close to something that resembles in shape. But when I'm wrestling a monster twice my size, the disadvantage is real. Go, look, whatever you do, don't get it wrapped. Watch your hand. Yeah, he's a little rounder. That's a fat boy. <laughs> hey, let's go. Yeah, that's a round one. That is a big boy. 300. Three hondo. Get it. One, two, three. All right, photo time. I think the spirit of it is so wonderful, and it really filled up my tank today. So thank you guys yeah. so much, brother. Cheers. Thank you. That 
was unbelievable. Was this awesome. difficult. Do you, do you think 300 or so? I think 300. And we ended on a high note. They got bigger and bigger as the day went they on. They really did. They really did. Couldn't ask for anything more. So fun.